The first thing I noticed is how my thumb is moving at the last joint. I'm not sure I agree with myself about doing that, so that needs revisiting. But honestly, I'd be glad if that was the only problem. Watch how close it is in some places. Just managing to get it. And sometimes not, apparently. Maybe I should call this fail tracking. I wonder if it's that close for everyone. Certainly this shows how a small change in anatomy would make a very big difference. In my last video I mentioned accuracy and striking the keys in the middle. As this piece shows, there's a lot more to accuracy than that. So I'll be exploring that topic in greater depth. By the way, shout out to NP Hardness who pointed that out. She's an excellent pianist who streams on Twitch TV. Link below. Now let's take a look at that infamous bar 31. I used the fourth finger and a lot of motion in the wrist. The motion tracker had a hard time following my wrist here because of that. But here we can see nicely what kind of motion I keep telling people about. It may not look like it, but this feels a lot more comfortable and reliable than using the third finger ever did. I didn't play through the whole piece by the way. There's my alternative ending. Anyway, see you next time. Take care.